Hi everyone, this is Kamiko of Wild Flourish and welcome to our Sage Village video series where we give you a sneak peek into our Waldorf inspired homeschool with my four year old son. Today we're gonna make a fun February craft, these Valentine's Day themed butterfly fairy peg dolls. So here's a completed one so you can see what the finished product will look like. So to make these, we use these wooden clothespin style peg dolls because they have a bit of a longer body, um, mimicking a butterfly more. These opaque watercolor paints. Uh, these we got at Ikea, but you could also use the Lyra or Pelican brands are uh, generally recommended in the Walter circles. Uh, they're a little bit different than the Stockmore, which is more of a general watercolor, so you want to get the more opaque sets for painting on wood. We have some yarn for the hair, some construction paper for the wings. You could, of course, also use felt, but uh, I didn't have the Valentine's Day themed color palette uh, in felt. I had more of a winter colors of blues and grays and white and things like that. So I want to have pinks, reds, purples, and whites, so we're using construction paper instead. Uh, we also have some pipe cleaners. And then I got these felt heart-shaped stickers at Target in the dollar section. I also have a glue stick and a glue gun. Okay, so here's what we did. I took the wooden peg doll and painted it, the body of my color scheme. And then I also darkened the skin tone a bit to match that of my family's. And then to do the wings, I got this wooden shaped heart in the craft section at Target as well. And we're gonna be using this for another craft, but for this activity, it made the perfect stencil. So I folded a piece of construction paper so I could make sure that the wings were perfectly symmetrical and then just lined it up on the corner, traced in pencil the outline of the arc, and then just cut it out, and that created this shape. Then to do the second layer, like the white is on this butterfly, I just positioned the wood stencil a bit further down so it wasn't in perfect alignment with the corner but would still have the arc fairly uh, matching positioned on the final heart. And then I just rounded out the corner when I cut them out so that it appears more like this. And then I lined up the point of the hearts more closely so I could give a really distinguished layer of the different colors on top. Then for the center, I'm gonna use the heart-shaped uh, felt sticker. And for this, I'm going to position it closer towards the arc instead of the bottom point because the wood of the clothespin is gonna be covering that middle section. And so I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then I just used a glue stick to fasten these layers and then the top of course is, happens to be a sticker though you could instead use a piece of felt like alternating or uh, another piece of construction paper. Then I cut a pipe cleaner in half, bent it in half again and then kind of rolled down uh, the top into a spiral these. Okay, and then once I have all those steps, I glued the tips of the heart wings together with the hot glue gun so that we would be a bit more connected and uh, not quite as fragile to rip apart. Then glued down some glue on the back. Oh, actually, at first I did the antennas where I put some glue on the back of the body and on the back of the head and position them here. Of course, it's a little bit more flat when I have two hands. Then again, once the 
uh, antennas have been placed. I did a bit more of glue on the back of the body, main body, and then line that up in the center of the hearts. These aren't glued yet, of course. Okay, and then I cut a few strands of yarn to be equal lengths for this hair. I just did some glue on the top of the head. I did a couple strands coming down the front of the body, although the glue is just on the side of the head. And then I did a few, pushed a few strands of the glue uh, from the front initially. They were all glued on the front in front of those antennas. And then wrapped them around to the back and put a little more glue on the back of the wings to firm them, attach them together even further. And I did a little bit of a crisscross so it almost looks like uh, she has a braid or it's fastened in the back. And then let it dry and you're done. And we're gonna be putting these on our nature table or you could also give them away as an additional Valentine's Day gift and craft. Uh, and then also just to play with, uh, since these have the construction paper wings, we probably won't use them as much as a toy, but if you use the felt, then they could be suitable also for play. So thank you so much. I am new to YouTube, so we really appreciate you clicking the subscribe button, liking the video, and showing some love. Uh, if you have any other crafts or tips that you'd like us to share, please go ahead and comment in, down below. Thanks so much.